Good morning. Good afternoon. And good evening, wherever you are in the world. Cheers to you. Well, anyways, let's move on. On with your review. Black Tusk, The Way Forward. Uh, can't exactly remember the name of it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My task. I forgot what re the album number this is, though. So forgive me for that. But I know they are a Georgia uh, sledge metal band from Savannah, Georgia, uh, and their style seems to lean leaning more, taking ma what ma uh, the more Macedon style of that of that sludge metal, possibly Baroness, early Baroness, and yeah, early Macedon, early Baroness, but. Going more in a hardcore direction than a doom direction. Um, and it's definitely in a more, uh, the hardcore elements being more associated towards ring, ringworm, I would say. Uh, but also, but I uh, throw in some every time I die and cancer bats and uh, later era. He is legend, I believe, and uh, yeah, that's what you're going to get from here, straight up. It's pretty good, but uh, I wouldn't say it's the best sludge metal I've heard this year. Like, it's pretty solid, for sure. I mean, I'm not sure I feel as though I'm going to go to this record as much as, say... I mean, if you're going to like what I just described, uh, I think you'll be good. Um... Good um, tracks like honestly for me, it took a while for me to enjoy the first four tracks of this record, but it wasn't until the opening riffs of Breath of Life, where there was a literal Breath of Life put into this record and everything else since this track kind of starts to become better and everything starts to click more, more so or less for me. Um, Granted, uh, it's once I got to a second listen, those other tracks got better, but I still think the best track on here is surprisingly the longest track, clocking in at 5 minutes and 13 seconds. Like I said, Breath of Life. And the closing title track was pretty good as well. Um, I think I liked Burst Fire a little bit, um, but Lift Yourself. I'm trying to think, maybe it was Lift Yourself and Free From Dawn, I think, but don't quote me on that, but those are definitely ones I would recommend. I, I, I like this record a lot. I'm just, I'm going to keep this short because I got another review to do and I'm pressing time because I need to get to work. So, um... <laughs> So for me, I'm going to be a little generous about this and say, um, keep it real, so a solid keep it real to a light horns up um, for me on this uh, Black Tusk Owl. I personally think I like what we what I got more out of Lord Dying and um, uh, 
and you do High on Fire, I guess, and some other releases prior to that. Um, when it comes to the sludgier stuff. Um, but yeah. Other than that, what did you guys think of the Black Tusk album? That was the only newer record that came out this year that I kind of gave a damn about. That uh, was of interest to me. Leave a comment below, let me know. And as always, guys, keep it random. Keep it random. Keep it real. Keep it rocking. I'll see you next video. Take care, y'all.